The church is a very strong pillar in the rising and the stability of a country. Even at a time like this that we are having a very noble discussion on how to better the life of our people now, henceforth, the church has not been left out. The church will not only pray, but the church will also speak, and the church will also have a position. We agree in principle that change is very important because change is inevitable, but again, we need to make the correct changes, otherwise we will walk backward. We want to thank Your Excellency. From the onset, you stood your ground. You made your personal views. And I thank you because you have advised our president and our father Raila Molo Odinga to accept the views of Kenya and I totally believe we will have a better document that not only a section of Kenyans will support it but all Kenyans will support it. It is very possible. I know the situation at the moment. We will agree we will walk the same direction. First of all, let me now congratulate Evan Zababu. It is very good that we can be here to witness the launching and dedication of your book. It is a master stroke that as you celebrate your 25 years, in the ministry, you are also unveiling a story about yourself. We also congratulate your wife because she was there burning the midnight oil with you. In terms of your journey, it is interesting. I didn't know that you stayed in Kangemi. I'll tell you something about politics, for those of you who want to be politicians. Mujipange. Uh, <laughs> you know, in 1969, when my father lost election, uh, he was vying for the seat of the then Bihiga uh, constituency. Akajaribu, uh, Akanguka. And we used to stay in Kileleshwa. Wakati uh, huo, he was a civil servant. Sasa tukuna ishi Kileleshwa. Lafu, akaingia kwa siyasa. Uchoguzi wa 69. Akaanguka. Then, 
as soon as we came back from the rural area, because at that time the elections were in December, they were, used, they were held around uh, early December. Tuliporudi Nairobi, wenye nyumba, serikali. Wakasema, now that you are no longer a civil servant, hamisha watoto wako na wewe na virago vyako mutoke kwa nyumba. Tukatoka kwa nyumba keleleshwa ya serikali and believe you me, tulienda kuishi kangemi. And I stayed in Kangemi uh, from, I think, 1970 for about two and a half years. Huko. So when he says he grew up in Kangemi, I now understand why this book is important. Because Kangemi in those days was literally a rural area in Nairobi. It was a very difficult environment. And we grew up there. Sanitation was a problem. Mambo yale yote magumu tulikuwa tukiishi hapo. But for you to emerge from there, and now here you are, congratulations. That is truly God's work. Truly God's work. And not just a book, but also being part and parcel of the whole eagle story. What else on Aita Eagle Echocom? Echocom, that is the eagle. So here in Eagle City, where we are now seeing the ministers, we say congratulations for the drive and what you have done to build the church up to where it is. The second issue that I just want to quickly highlight is that Dr. Arthur did make some remarks on the issue of leadership. Alisema, we need to choose our leaders wisely. That is what he said. And I want to tell you that what he is saying is so real because our choices matter. In the US, the famous thing is that they say black lives matter. But me, I'm telling you what the bishop said. Our choices matter. How many of you scrutinize the individual, male or female, that you want to put in high office? How many of you take time to scrutinize that person? Picture yourself when your son or your daughter is about to get married. How many questions do you ask? to know about that family and that person. Ni wachawi? Are they night runners? Ni watu wa inagani? Munauliza maswali mengi because you realize your child is about to make a very serious choice. Extremely serious choice. Now, if that is the case, why then do you not make that serious inquiry when you are putting the lives of millions of people into the hands of one individual somewhere? So our choices matter. And going forward, I think it is important that we now make sure that before the vote, Interrogate. So basically, interrogate, then vote. Don't vote and then interrogate. Tunelewana wana speaker. Interrogate and then vote. 
Don't vote and then interrogate. It will be too late. So those are the things that I can only pass to this congregation today. On the issue of the BBI, my comments are exactly the way the leadership here has spoken. That there are good things in this document, but they have also been mixed with some issues that require a review. Once that is done, we have an opportunity to build consensus and instead of having a contested situation, we can have a united, a broad-based consensus arrangement that is what is important for Kenya. Because right now, Kuingiza wa Kenya, hey, Ndugu, Pongezi Wanda, the master of ceremony, you suffered COVID and you beat it. We thank God for it. But others have not succeeded. Right now, our infection rate is very high, almost at 20% infection rate. The experts who may be in this room like doctors, they tell you that if we see it going down, the infection rate should be below 12%. But it's at about 20%. Every time they do the samples, they're announcing figures. And if you do the ratio of the figures that have been affected, and the figure of those who have been tested, you find it's oscillating at around 20% infection rate. That is very high. So we need to protect each other. And that is why if we can move forward by building consensus so that we don't expose our people to excessive dangers of this COVID, it will be very good for our country. It will even be cost effective for us. Right now, almost 2,500 doctors or medical staff have contracted the, 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 the virus. They are lamenting, they need protect, protective gear, they need insurance. Kenya has over 72,000 infections. These are the guys who are on the front line the doctors and medical staff, they should be supported and encouraged and given what they require so that they can continue to save lives. So these are the messages that I think are important for the people of Kenya. And the church, your voice is more powerful than anybody else's. Help us as politicians, me included, to work a Kwareli Vizuri. Eh? Mutueke kwa reli vizuri ili maisha ya wa Kenya yaje mbele. Siasa yetu election is 2022. But who wants to be elected and then the next thing is that you are busy burying your your voters. We can't live like that. Kwa hivyo nawasihi sana nikiwa hapa kwa kanisa kwamba let us be united as a people and I thank the deputy governor and the speaker and the team convey my best regards also to governor Lenku mwambie we are happy the county is picking up very well that is good and we want Kenya to pick up very well we want jobs to be created we must ask ourselves what are we going to do? Because two million people during this period have lost their jobs. Two million. How are they feeding their children? How many of them will have the resolve, like Evans, to stand and say, ni magumu, lakini al on? Maybe some are committing suicide. Auctioneers wa mevamia watu, paka hata auctioneers wenyewe wanakuwa auctioned.
ama nyinyi amjui kwa sababu <laughs> okshenia aki akikuvamia anachukua mali yako anapeleka kwa godown and he's expecting to sell it at some time ndio apate pesa sasa godown zimeja the owners of the godown are now demanding rent so the owners of the godown have now sent auctioneers to the auctioneers <laughs> eh kusema kwamba hii mambo haiwezekani kwa hivyo haya ndio yale tunasema mimi naambia watu hata fuliza imemaliza watu eh serikali kule nilikuwa nasikia ya tani akizunguza ya tani anasema e, iko fuliza kubwa yale madeni makubwa kubwa yale ya serikali na hapa chini iko fuliza hata kiambia kijana hapa nje nikutumia mpesa na kuambia ngoja kidogo tulia wacha nitavute namba ya Evans ama ya nani hiyo kitu ipitie hapo eh <laughs> sababu fuliza imefinya huko na fuliza inafinya hapo sasa <laughs> <laughs> Mambo kama haya si magumu. Eh, niliona mwalimu Evans Kahi, huyu mkubwa wa walimu wote. They are grappling with our children. Eh? He's, he's the head of all the heads of schools in, 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 in Kenya and even Africa actually. Lakini sasa wewe jiulize if we are not careful with this covid especially when we are coming to the festive season here ya ya Christmas my friend zile mapati ambazo vijana hupenda kwenda during the christmas festivities please be very careful because those parties might become super spreaders and even when we are beginning to say that the schools might open in january if this thing hits very badly we can have serious consequences that can even affect our children beyond the one year that has been lost they could easily lose a second year if we are not careful because of this covid so we have a duty a responsibility all of us individually and collectively to work together kwa hivyo nitamalizia hapo na niseme tu evans and madam congratulations for your achievements dr arthur dr steve Asanteni for allowing us to be part of your congregation today. God bless you all and God bless the people of Kajado, God bless the people of Kenya. Asante.